Okay, so welcome to Math Story, yeah? and let's have this topic. So finding the derivative of trigonometric functions with the product rule, and this is the formula for the product rule. So if we have this given, y equals x to the power 3 times sine 5x. So for this given, this is u and this is v. So u equals x to the power 3. Then to find the derivative of u, so the derivative of x to the power 3, that's 3x to the power 2. Then v equals sine 5x. Then for the derivative of v, since the derivative of sine is cosine, then we have 5x times the derivative of 5x, that's 5. So we have 5 times cosine 5x. Then from this formula, so substitute now all the values. So we have y prime equals u. So u equals x to the power 3 times dv. And dv, that's 5 cosine 5x then plus v so v is sine 5x then times du and du is 3x to the power 2 so we have now y prime equals 5x to the power 3 then cosine 5x plus 3x to the power 2, then sine 5x. So this is the derivative. Then if we have y equals cosine x times cotangent x, so for this given, this is u and this is v. So u equals cosine x and for the derivative of u, since the derivative of cosine is negative sine, then x. And for v, that's cotangent x. And for the derivative of v, since the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared, then x. Then substitute now all the values to this formula. So we have y prime equals u. So u is cosine x times the derivative of v. That's negative cosecant squared x. Then plus v. So v is cotangent x times the derivative of u. So that's negative sine x. Then y prime equals, so we have this negative cosine x times cosecant squared x. Then this positive times negative, that's negative. So cotangent x times sine x. Then since there is an identity for cotangent x times sine x, so from this figure, this is sine this is cosine, cotangent, tangent, second, and cosecant. So if we have a tangent times cosecant, the answer is second. So therefore, for cotangent times sine, the answer is cosine. So we have now y prime equals negative cosine x times cosecant squared x. Then minus, so this cotangent times sine is equal to cosine x. So this is now the derivative.